Provincial government is expanding strong mayor powers to more municipalities across the province. For more on this, we go to Erica Vela outside of Queen's Park this afternoon. Good afternoon, Erica. What more can you tell us? Well, we know that these strong mayor powers are being expanded to 26 municipalities uh, across Ontario, Marianne. Today, the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing making the announcement. It's all around ensuring that those mayors have the tools to ensure that they, they meet their obligations of the pledge that they made, the housing pledge that they made, but at the same time ensure that, uh, that as the Premier and I have telegraphed many times, that we want to make sure that everyone is set up for success. Now, Oakville, Guelph, Brampton, Mississauga, Pickering are among those municipalities getting the strong mayor powers. Now, it takes effect July 1st. In the fall, the Ford government hinted that it would expand strong mayor powers to other municipalities in a year. Toronto and Ottawa were the first. The province passed legislation last year giving the mayors of those two cities expanded powers. The mayor can override council decisions on bylaws that conflict with provincial priorities. However, I should mention council can override the mayor's veto of bylaw or budget amendments with two thirds of majority vote. Now the strong with these strong mayor powers as well, I should mention the mayor can hire certain municipal department heads. They can choose to appoint uh, the municipality's chief administration officer as well. Now there has been a, a lot of criticism uh, and critics who call this legislation anti-democratic, but uh, Toronto's former mayor, John Tory, was very much in support of the strong mayor powers. We heard from the mayor of London who spoke about the powers. Take a listen to what he to say. I think every mayor is going to approach uh, these powers differently and uh, in my city the first step that I'm going to take is I'm going to sit down with our city manager and look at the full suite of powers. I can tell you uh, I've had great success in achieving consensus of my council and that's always always the approach that, that I'm going to take uh, on most issues to, to ensure that um, you know the, the, the will of all of the elected councillors across the city uh, their voices are heard. Now we are going to continue to get reaction today. Speak to those mayors who are poised to get these strong mayor powers. We'll have more on Global News 530 and 6. I'm going to send it back to you, Marianne. Today I am pleased to announce that Ontario is expanding strong mayor powers to mayors in 26 large and fast-growing municipalities. Building on the initial expansion of strong mayor powers that our government introduced for Toronto and Ottawa last fall. The 26 municipalities that are set to receive these powers are among the largest and fastest growing in our province. Our government is determined to ensure these municipalities are set up for success and that they have the necessary tools to deliver on the housing commitments that they've made. The expansion of strong mayor powers is another step our government is taking, like our previous housing supply action plans and Strong Mayors Building Homes Act to help communities get shovels in the ground faster. By cutting red tape, delivering growth and confronting Ontario's housing supply crisis has to be done with bold action. I know our municipal partners share these goals and I'm looking forward to working with them to get it done. Thank you so much for being here today and we're pleased to answer any questions. Minister, will these strong, the, the strong air powers that these other municipalities are getting, are they the same as the initial strong air powers you gave Toronto and Ottawa or they, they include second wave which caused you guys so many political problems they're, about they're, they're the entire strong mayor power so they they, they include uh, well I'll just I'll, I'll take it back so they include uh, being able to choose a chief administrative officer it's being able to hire certain department heads to create committees uh, on certain functions as related to our our extension of strong mayor powers everything we've done whether it be vetoing uh, certain bylaws that don't meet our provincial priorities it's it's all around ensuring that those mayors have the tools to ensure that they, they meet their obligations of the pledge that they made, the housing pledge that they made, but at the same time ensure that, uh, that as the Premier and I have telegraphed many times, that we want to make sure that everyone is set up for success. So the 26, the 26 are added to the initial two that uh, we put through that ball. So they can win, uh, the new strong mayors at these other municipalities can win votes with one third support at council? Yeah, again, again the, 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 the suite of programs starting with being able to appoint a CAO and certain department heads and present the budget extend right through to all the other powers, including um, ensuring that they've got the the votes on council to uh, meet our provincial priorities. So that is that is minority rule then at these 26 city halls. What about that is democracy? That's not democracy, is it? We, we need to make sure, Richard, that we uh, we.
set uh, communities up for success. And as I said, when we tabled those two bills, we, we want to make sure they have the uh, the tools to get the job done. So, yes, Mayor Morgan, do you think that's, that's democracy ruling like that? Minority rule? Yeah, so first off, um, I think every mayor is going to approach uh, these powers differently. And uh, in my city, the first step that I'm going to take is I'm going to sit down with our city manager and look at the full suite of powers. I can tell you uh, I've had great success in achieving consensus of my council, and that's always always the approach that, that I'm going to take uh, on most issues to, to ensure that um, you know the, the, the will of all of the elected councillors across the city, uh, their voices are heard in the discussion and debate. And you know this is a suite of tools that are at the disposal of mayors, and I think each mayor is going to use them differently. Yeah.